hello and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mackenzie Marie. And today I'm gonna be dyeing my hair with something a little bit interesting. A while ago, I dyed my hair with colored markers. Yes, like the markers that you use in school. You guys like that video so much that I decided today I'm gonna to be dyeing my hair with markers, but not just any regular markers. Today I'm dyeing my hair with gel markers. I have been requested to dye my hair with gel pins a lot. Now I'm thinking that gel markers might be similar to gel pins because I haven't found a way to extract gel pin ink yet to try and dye my hair with it. Trust me, I've tried and it hasn't worked so far. Not only am I just dyeing my hair with gel markers today, but I just bleached my roots. Like these are fresh roots. Is gel marker going to be able to dye like completely blonde hair? I'm like actually dyeing my hair with these markers today. And I need to cover that up because that does not look okay. So let's go to the store. Let's go get some gel markers. Let's go dye my bleach roots. Let's Let's go do it. <laughs> all right, I am at the art supply store and this is where I get all of my hair dye, <laughs> actually markers. So today I found gel markers. So we're gonna try these first. I got two of them. Let's go put them in my hair. Hello and welcome to my bathroom. I've got all my supplies. Let's make some hair dye. First things first, I'm gonna use some gloves because these are markers, they're gel markers. That means they're not just gonna wash off my skin. They're literally going to stain this, the, ha the ha they're gonna stain my skin badly, okay? Ew. Feeling spicy, baby. Look at my roots. Oh, these are so bad. I hope this hair dye covers this up. Here are the markers. These are gel markers, but these ones have a special black casing on them. This is really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop uh, uh, Ow! I'm gonna pop the back of this off without breaking my tooth. And that is why I have my handy dandy cleaver. I always feel like I'm gonna cut my finger off when I do this. Please don't do this at home. You might cut your finger off. Mm, my tooth hurts so bad. Yeah. These guys are really in here. What do they make these things out of? Breaking it off the bottom of it. Oh wow, those are these are pigmented, baby. Take it out of the casing like that. This is what the first one looks like. This ink, I can already tell, is more like, it's pretty creamy. That's the only way I can explain it. Like, you can see it on the glove. Definitely a gel marker. So I have a glass of water, and I'm going to dip this into the water. When the bottom of it starts turning white, I'm gonna grab a separate container like this and blow the ink into the glass. This is so bright. Usually these are like a really, really dark color. This is so bright. Maybe gel markers are the way to go. The color I'm going to be dyeing my hair is obviously a blue, but I also put green in my hair to get it the perfect teal color. So I'm gonna bust out the green one. Let's chop the back off of it. Dunk it in the water. Alrighty, that looks good. Let's see what this one looks like. Mix it together, and we got this greeny blue color. This is a really cool color, but I want mine to be a little bit more blue. So I got another container, and I'm just going to use the blue out of this one. I extracted the ink, now I'm gonna make it into actual hair dye that I can put in my hair. I take a white conditioner like this, I fill it all the way up. Yes! Now I'm just going to pour this into here. This looks green to me, so I'm gonna take a little more of this and just literally blow it in here. This is what the dye looked like when I mixed it up, although I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's kind of chunky. The gel is making it like a really weird consistency. Here's a before of what my hair looks like so we can compare it to later. This is what the roots look like. I'm gonna try and like put it straight down the blonde first because that's gonna need it the most. Right? Oh, oh, I hope this works. 
This is so bright. These markers are so extremely bright. But can it cover up the yellow? <laughs> I went to the store to go get my markers and as I was driving there some dude decided to not use his blinker and cut me off. I really don't like road rage and I really don't like people messing with me when I'm driving. So it really upset me. So as he goes to cut me off I decided to swerve out of the lane I was in and cut him off. Well that guy didn't like that I cut him off after he cut me off. So he's all throwing his hands up in the air and screaming at me and I put my blinker on and I was like use your blinker bro. Well, let's just say he didn't like that. This 40 year old man goes like this to me. Suck my Not once, not twice, not three times, but four times he did that to me. Now, Mr. 40 year old, I'm literally half your age. I start flipping my blinker on and off, screaming at the top of my lungs. And the moment that light turned green and he was not next to me, he sped up so fast to get away from me because he knew he messed with the wrong girl, okay? I don't care what day of the week it is. You have no right to treat somebody like that. Like, ever. And honestly, that was a really low point for me. Because I don't typically give in to people's BS out of nowhere. I was literally just going to the store to buy my gel markers so I can come home and film my YouTube video. But no, 40 year old Tom and his flexes had to go and cut me off and tell me to S his D. Can you tell I'm a little upset? Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But anyways, back to the hair dye. You guys, this is so Right. I am truly living for this color right here. This is beautiful. But for real, like what would you have done in that situation? Why Tom? I don't understand. Why Tom? Were you and the wife upset today? Did you get in an argument with someone? But honestly Tom, I don't care. Why did you have to treat me that way? God forbid I ever see Tom's mom walking around town. I'm gonna have a chat with her and tell her what her son did to me. I don't care that he's 40. He needs a timeout. I am impressed with how well this is working. In other news, you guys, I am going to be at Playlist Live. Tickets are on sale now. If you want to go buy them and hang out with me at Playlist Live, I would love to meet you there. This is so bright. Like, I feel like normal hair dye isn't even this bright. This is nice, dude. I mean, yeah, it's a little chunky. Can you see the chunks? Putting this in my hair, it feels soft. Most of the time when I put these markers in my hair, it feels dry, honey. It feels nasty. Let's just hope that it does cover up all this yellow on my head because if it doesn't, I'm going to be thoroughly let down and still mad at Tom. God, I'm never gonna let that go. I need to let that go. You guys, I am so excited to be going to Playlist. This is my first year going. I know I've talked about it so much on my channel, but please go down below and buy your tickets and come hang out with me at Playlist. I'm so excited! At the end of this month, I am launching my new vlog channel. I am going to be weekly vlogging on my vlog channel. I'm launching it at the end of this month and I'm so excited for it. I've already been filming vlogs, so when the first one goes up, I already got other ones ready to post. So I'm going to be posting a link down below. If you wanna go check out my vlog channel, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. So when I do launch it, you can go watch those videos first. It's gonna be like exclusive. So like if you're there first, like you were there from the start, you know what I mean? Does anyone feel me when they say, how am I supposed to dye the back of my head when I cannot see it? This is how I dye the back of my hair. I grab some dye like this. I just feel the back of my head and then I run it up. And I'm just guessing. I could be dyeing it. I could not be dyeing it. I don't know because I can't see the back of my head. Is it dying on my hair? I don't know. The back of my head, it needs some milk. Please like this video if you know where that video is from. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? I think I have completely saturated my hair with the markers. It looks really good. It feels really soft. I am going to leave this in my hair for probably an hour, maybe two hours, rinse it out, and then let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna go watch like two hours of TikTok. Follow me on TikTok at Mackenzie Marie Official. Here is what the finished results of my hair looks like. So if you forgot, this is what my hair looked like 
in the beginning of the video. This is with no dye in it. I let my hair fade for about a month. And this is what it looks like after I wash the markers out of my hair. Big difference. Here's a close up on my roots. It didn't work as well as a regular hair dye does. But, but for this just being markers, I think it did a really good job. A lot of it is uneven, but it could be because, you know, I was putting it in my hair, not like really paying attention, whatever. But like, yeah, I'm really happy with the way this color turned out. These markers worked so well. Like, this is amazing. This is actually insane. I always get different shades of teal when I do my hair, but this one, oh my god, I love this one. This one is so pretty it's the perfect green blue aqua marine turquoise teal I love it I'm like tripping like this is too good this is amazing if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below click the bell button turn on post notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first and if you want to you can follow me over on Instagram TikTok, or Twitter I'm gonna have them all linked down below because when I'm not over here I'm definitely over there and you should be too I can't get over how good this looks I am so happy Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you here in my next one. Toodles!